As we say goodbye to the Science of Soil Health video series, we feel some need to be able to take what these great scientists had to say and to apply these principles to a number of different situations and in a sense to bring these ideas home. Part of this felt need was that lots of people have asked us what does soil health really look like and how can they get started. I'd like to quote from a very wise person who said the following. As to the methods, there may be a million and then some, but principles are few. As to the person who grasps these principles, they can successfully select their own methods. The person who tries methods ignoring principles is sure to have trouble. And so that's where we're going to start. So what I'm suggesting here is that in the remaining videos, we look at the principles of soil health and then apply them to three situations, namely, my own 1,000 square foot garden uh, to an organic farm run locally by uh, Eric and Robbie McClam and then to a row crop farm run by Jason Carter. These are operations all in South Carolina, yes, but I have seen these principles work across the whole country. So bear with me as we work through these ideas. First, I want to cover just the foundations of soils. Um, looking at the, some of the physical and chemical and biological properties of soils and it's really important to understand both the abiotic and the biotic environment. We'll then dedicate the remaining videos to the four soil health principles. The first principle is minimize disturbance or do not disturb. The second principle is keep the soil covered. The third principle is keep a live root in the soil as many days of the year as possible and finally, the fourth principle is feed the soil with diversity, diversity, diversity. If we were to characterize these soil health principles, we would want to say that in any kind of situation, you are trying to emulate nature as closely as possible. The further you go away from natural systems, the more energy, the more time, the more money you're going to spend to get away from those systems. So we want to track nature in this process. I do hope that you can take something away from this video series for your land and also that it's going to benefit your pocketbook and your lifestyle. Please join me as we continue this series. Thank you so much. Việt